Hello again. I sometimes think that there should be a term like Godwin's Law for those who invoke the Holocaust as a way of shutting down a debate and making sure that people dare not disagree with you. Robert Jenrick, our immigration minister, has said in an interview that the Ukraine refugee scheme, which has seen the arrival of 160,000 people in Britain who are very likely here for good, should be repeated and imposed upon us in addition to the other projects which have promised British citizenship to millions of Chinese people in Hong Kong and also brought countless thousands of Afghans into the country. Inevitably, while outlining this plan, he reminds us that his wife is Jewish and that her relatives had a very hard time during the Holocaust. What a shameless piece of emotional blackmail. Jenrick promises to crack down on illegal asylum seekers coming across the channel, but we all know perfectly well this is not going to happen. So in effect, his scheme, which is going to be put before Parliament, will mean a rise in the number of asylum seekers coming here. His take on this is that, and I quote, we have finite resources and it's right that we use them to support those people for whom we have the greatest connection and moral obligation. Of course, one hardly likes to remind this odious man that we do indeed have finite resources in this country and that those with whom we have the greatest connection and toward whom we have the strongest moral obligation are our own citizens. But I somehow think this would be pointless when debating with a weasel like this. What a shameless rascal he is, talking about the Holocaust in this way for his own ends. I have no idea at all why anybody in Britain, least of all our immigration minister, would think that we have too few asylum seekers, but there it is. Wait until this new law is passed and the government will be able to bring as many people into Britain under the guise of refugees and asylum seekers as they please. I uh, give a link to an article, an interview with uh, Jen Rick from today's Sunday Telegraph, in which he outlines these shocking plans and the thumbnail to this video shows uh, Robert Jenrick. We can expect to hear a good deal more about the refugees from the Holocaust and the kinder transports and all the rest of it, because such emotive images have the effect, as I said, of making some people feel bad about opposing these dreadful plans. Seriously, we all know about Godwin's law, in which talking of Hitler and the Nazis is intended to silence one's opponent. I really am trying to think up a name for using the imagery of the Holocaust for the same tacky end.